News contributor Tammy Bruce, who's sitting with us. We wanted to get your reaction first on this story. I mean, if he does, when he goes in front of the Senate today, every senator is going to get five minutes. Yep. And in the House tomorrow, should he be, should he have to talk to their attorneys or should the House members just ask those questions? Well, obviously the House members should, but they don't. I think a lot of uh, these politicians don't want to be the ones in front of a camera asking those questions because they might think that the American people don't like this dragging on, and they don't. You know, th this is very strange, the timing of it all. Uh, it, it was clear what... Uh, the attorney general was doing. The full report effectively is out. The redactions everyone admits are minimal. Right. So Americans know the fact that it seems to me like a diva who didn't like the fact that uh, uh, this being Mueller didn't like the fact that uh, Barr is now uh, in, in, effectively interpreting, initially interpreted uh, uh, the, the report, uh, and now the American people can decide for themselves. And maybe there's just not enough drama yeah. for some of these individuals. Well, you know, Tammy, I don't know. it seems like Robert Mueller's upset that people are not condemning the president. Well, that's it. It's like there's, they seem to think that there was going to be a rhythm to this uh, that is not happening. Uh, and the good news is that the American people can decide for themselves. They seem to already have done so and uh, the president uh, was exonerated that is the bottom line of this report and that message uh, seems to be resonating well ultimately mr barr picked up the phone and called mr Mueller. Yes. and they talked for 15 minutes and he said hey is anything in this uh in my four-page summary yeah. is anything wrong and he goes not a thing yeah. i just don't like the way the the press is talking oh. about it they're getting it wrong. welcome to the world none of us <laughs> like the way the press talks about anything but he did say that he thought uh bar mischaracterized so that's one thing the friends had some friction well about. i think remember we're still dealing with a singular report uh, stating that and we have found that even uh uh, Mr. Mueller has had to push back on how the media yeah. has characterized things in the past right now. But again, this is all ado about nothing. The report is out in its entirety. Right. We can decide. And uh, people we trust have been interpreting it. It's all over the place. This seems to be uh, a big nothing in a certain sense. All right. You have time. written a new op-ed. Uh, out in California, they've c created this bill uh, that uh, gives a permission slip for Willful defiance of teachers. That's in other right. words, if, if you are a child in school That's and right. you willfully defy your teacher, mm -hmm. you're not going to get in trouble anymore. Right. And this, this bans suspensions. So it sends a signal uh, that uh, th but whatever you do effectively is not really going to cause a lot of trouble. And so when you look at and the, uh, that's going to cause a lot of trouble. Well, well, it is. And even Jerry Brown, whom I just dis disagreed with a great deal, of course, the previous governor of California, this passed last year, and he vetoed it, saying, look, teachers and principals are on the front line. Right. They're the ones who know what's going on in the classroom. The argument is that there's a racial disparity. That's at the core of this. But then are they saying that California teachers and other teachers where states have done this are racist? The fact is, is that they know the dynamic of what's going on. And when you do this, I think this is about not getting in trouble with the federal government. Uh, the Obama administration had sent uh, a guidance letter out saying, you know, we, we don't like these, this disparity. So it's about a numbers game that to change the percentage of, of who is being suspended giving the impression perhaps that lives have improved or the process has improved but in fact the opposite is true this is ridiculous i come from a family of teachers and a bad kid can disrupt the entire classroom and make the teacher have a really bad year that kid has a reputation they don't kick the kid out of the school and then it just is very disruptive for all the good kids well, so that's they get it. punished then that's a part of my column is you know why are we abandoning the kids the super majority of them who are there to learn especially if you're dealing in, with minority schools Schools, you've got issues of poverty, right? We don't address that. Sure. It, gang issues. And when the, these kinds of non-suspension rules get applied, like in New York City, uh, the, the, uh, they found that uh, the odds of uh, gang use, drug use, fighting, bullying increases. So it's about the innocent kids. We do need to find a way to deal with kids who are struggling, but giving them a permission slip and gaming the system and right. the numbers is not the way to do it. Do Another what they reason. did when we were in high school. You don't get that. We're not talking about expulsion. We're talking about there's a classroom where they Correct. do in-school suspension, you get like a military man or woman to leave that class and shut them down. And that there's a record and that they can be handled and removed from the system for, for a period of time until the solution uh, is right. Made. All right, Tammy, thanks. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it.